Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to see if Langer is really better. We are going to compare the farmer's choice, the sword off and the master key. The master key and the sword off are both uncommon shotguns scattered around the world of Unturned. The master key can be found in camps and farms and occasionally also from farmer zombie drops on Washington. Since the sword off is nothing more than just a shorter version of the master key, you can simply craft it using a saw. Also nice to know is that you can place the sword off in your secondary slot and hereby use it instead of your pistol. For the first part I'd like to take a close look at what damage the sword off version is able to deal. In this graph you can see the damage and how many shots it takes to kill a player without any armor or clothing. Since the sword off is a very powerful shotgun, two hits to the chest or into your opponent's face are enough to melt him. As soon as he gets a hold of a cheap helmet or poncho, so basically anything to wear except caps, this formula won't apply though. So a simple combo of a construction helmet and a poncho will increase the hits needed to kill you from 2 to 3. Just like with military armor. Now let that sink in. So no more wearing those fancy military or collision barrets, since they just won't have enough armor to protect you from getting knocked over by a sword off with just two hits. Now obviously, Someone who is wearing military armor is going to have more time to trigger a heal after two shotgun pellets hit him, but either way, the sword off will be a three shot kill most of the time. The last thing worth noticing is the spec ops chest piece. Wearing this, the pellets needed to kill you will increase to four, which is a lot. But before those damage graphs get too confusing, I should clarify that each so called shotgun shell shoots out seven shots each time you fire. So effectively, assumed you would hit your target with all 7 shells into the same spot, those are the damage numbers you would deal. That looks insanely good, since anything above 100 would be an instant kill, but those numbers are pretty inflated, considering how bad the accuracy of shotguns in general is in Unturned. But we will take a close look at that in a second. Before that, I would like to compare the damage of the sword off to the master key. Again, using the same scale, we can immediately see that it takes 4 instead of 3 shots to kill a naked player. A poncho won't make a huge difference with the shotgun though, but any armor will increase the hits needed to instantly kill your enemy to 5. And this is quite insane. So with anything below 100% accuracy, you are pretty much not going to kill anything except a fresh spawn. One last interesting thing to note, if your enemy is wearing any armor in the game, you will in fact deal more damage shooting at his legs or arms instead of shooting at his body. That counts for both of these shotguns. Um, that's quite strange, but that's just how the game works. So against armored players, go for those drop shots people and shoot at the legs. Now let's get into the interesting part, the range. While the sword of might have the bigger killing potential, it will only do so at 10 meters compared to the 50 meters of the master key. Or will it? Because the spread of the sword off is so awful, you're not going to hit the broadside of a barn from anything close to 10 meters away. Literally. Remember how I said that you need 3 hits into the chest for a kill with the sword off? This doesn't sound so good anymore after seeing this, right? Neither crouching or lying down will help with this. The spread of this gun will stay terrible. The master key is a little better. With this gun the pellets will at least fly towards the general direction you shoot them at. I am able to hit this target, which is 10 meters away from me, pretty much consistently. However, keep in mind that with this shotgun I need 4 shots compared to the 3 shots of the sword off. In case you wonder what happens to those pellets after they exceed those 10 or 50 meters maximal range, well, they just vaporize into air. Comparing the two though, I can clearly see that it is a lot easier to land 3 shots at a target with the master key than it is to land 2 shots with the sword off. But what else should we consider? Maintenance. And this is where the master key also exceeds. Looking at those numbers, the sword off repair costs per shot are more than 4 times as high as the costs of the master key. But keep in mind that both guns are relatively cheap to repair anyways, costing only 2 respectively 3 scrap metal to repair it. As long as you do not have a blowtorch close by though, I would think twice about crafting your master key into a sort of shotgun. So Swiss, how do you recommend running those two weapons? For the sort of there's pretty much only one way, as a secondary. Since I cannot think of any good setup with this gun in the primary slot. 
Sure, you could use something like a Peacemaker or a Honey Badger as a secondary, but then you will never be able to touch on those players attacking you from outside the 30 meter mark. So the best way to use the Sword of is in combination with a long range weapon, such as a Maple Strike or even a Grizzly. Those guns are definitely good at a long and medium range, but the Sword of is able to give you that little advantage if you're playing indoors. Also keep in mind that while you might want one shot anyone with it, a double tap will certainly kill at a very close range. That one attachment which is simply a must have for this gun is the laser pointer. It won't decrease your spread a lot, but every bit of spread reduction this gun can get is welcome. For the master key I would advise you to do the same thing. Slap a laser pointer on this gun and use it only in close range. However, since this gun is quite capable of hitting targets at longer ranges than the Sword of, you can really well also use it to rush an unsuspecting enemy outdoors. For a secondary, I would definitely bring something which can work at medium range, such as a Honey Badger or a Peacemaker. Just keep in mind that you won't be able to find players which are quite far away. Closing off this review, I want you to remember one thing. Do not craft a master key into a Sword of unless you want to use it as a secondary. So tell me in the comments which gun you'd like to be reviewed in an upcoming episode. Thanks for watching, until next time.